Quantum calculus, sometimes called calculus without limits, is equivalent to traditional infinitesimal calculus without the notion of limits. It defines Q calculus and H calculus, where H ostensibly stands for Planck's constant while Q stands for quantum. The two parameters are related by the formula Q equals E I H equals E two pi I display style Q equals E caret I H equals E caret two pi I H B A R where equals H two pi display style script style H B A R equals F R A C H two pi is the reduced Planck constant. Topic Differentiation In the Q calculus and H calculus, differentials of functions are defined as D Q F X equals F Q X minus F X Display style d underscore q f x equals f q x f x and d h f x equals f x plus h minus f x display style d underscore h f x equals f x plus h f x respectively. Derivatives of functions are then defined as fractions by the Q derivative d Q f x equals d Q f x d Q x equals f Q x minus f x q minus 1 x display style d underscore q f x equals frac d underscore q f x d underscore q x equals frac f q x f x q 1 x and by d h f x equals d h F x D H x equals F x plus H minus F x H Display style D underscore H F x equals FRAC D underscore H F x D underscore H x equals FRAC F x plus H F x H In the limit, as H goes to zero, or equivalently as Q goes to one, these expressions take on the form of the derivative of classical calculus. Topic Integration Topic Q integral A function f x is a Q antiderivative of f x if d Q f x equals f x. The Q antiderivative or Q integral is denoted by f x d Q x display style int f x d underscore Q x and an expression for f x can be found from the formula f x d Q x equals one minus Q j equals zero infinity x Q j f x Q j display style int f x d underscore Q x equals one Q sum underscore j equals zero caret in f t x Q caret j f x Q caret j which is called the Jackson integral of f x. For zero the Q integral is a riemann stieltjes integral with respect to a step function having infinitely many points of increase at the points Q j, with the jump at the point Q j being Q j. If we call this step function G Q t then d G Q t equals d Q t equals H integral
Topic: A function f x is an h antiderivative of f x if dh f x f x. The h antiderivative or h integral is denoted by f x d h x. Display style int f x d underscore h x. If a and b differ by an integer multiple of h, then the definite integral a b f x d h x display style int underscore a caret b f x d underscore h x is given by a Riemann sum of f x on the interval a b partitioned into subintervals of width h. Example The derivative of the function x n for some positive integer n in the classical calculus is n x n minus 1 display style nx caret n1 the corresponding expressions in q calculus and h calculus are d q x n equals q n minus 1 q minus 1 x n minus 1 equals n q x n minus 1 display style d underscore q x caret n equals frac q caret n minus 1 q 1 x caret n 1 equals n underscore q x caret n 1 with the q bracket n q equals q n minus 1 q Minus one display style n underscore q equals frac q caret n minus one q one and d h x n equals x n minus one plus h x n minus Two plus plus h n minus one display style d underscore h x caret n equals x caret n one plus h x caret n two plus c d o t s plus h caret n one respectively. The expression n q x n minus one display style n underscore q x caret n one is then the q calculus analog of the simple power rule for positive integral powers. In this sense, the function x n display style x caret n is still nice in the q calculus, but rather ugly in the h calculus. The h calculus analog of x n Display style x caret n is instead the falling factorial x n equals x x minus one x minus n plus one display style x underscore n equals x x one c d o t s x n plus one one may proceed further and develop, for example, equivalent notions of Taylor expansion, etc., and even arrive at Q-calculus analogs for all of the usual functions one would want to have, such as an analog for the sine function whose Q-derivative is the appropriate analog for the cosine. History 
The H calculus is just the calculus of finite differences, which had been studied by George Boole and others, and has proven useful in a number of fields, among them combinatorics and fluid mechanics. The Q calculus, while dating in a sense back to Leonard Euler and Carl Gustav Jacobi, is only recently beginning to see more usefulness in quantum mechanics, having an intimate connection with commutativity relations and Lie algebra. See also Noncommutative geometry Quantum differential calculus Timescale calculus Q-analog